Hey, what is going on guys? So today we have the 2011 MacBook Pro and I'm just going to be showing you real quick here how Windows 10 runs in VirtualBox. So this is a base model 2011 MacBook Pro. It's got the 500 gigabyte hard drive, 2.4 gigahertz i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. So let's just go ahead and show you this. Um, how it runs here. So I'm gonna be doing this real time just to give you an idea of how you know quickly it boots and all that good stuff. It actually performs quite better than I expected it to. Uh, my original plan was to kind of uh, rig boot camp and to let me be able to install this and I think I'm still gonna make a video about that but tell you what the virtual box does really good on here so you can see we are already at the uh, login screen here it would be you know slightly faster with an SSD obviously but for a hard drive it's really not that bad and I haven't really installed any uh, more intensive applications on it. I haven't installed anything but Google Chrome. Uh, but yeah, here we are on the desktop now. And go ahead and just close those little dialog boxes. Let me turn the screen brightness down a little bit. It's kind of acting a little weird there. But yeah, so here we are we're on the desktop. And I allocated four gigs of RAM to this thing. And I am having internet issues right now, so we're not going to be able to do too much but I'll just give you an idea of Windows opening so there's the file explorer you can see it took a second there but once stuff gets in the RAM you click on it again opens right up no issues whatsoever so just kind of do a little bit of navigating here uh, you know you can go into files really quick navigate around the file explorer no problem uh, the Windows animations when you open them are actually really smooth, which is something the new MacBook Air doesn't do, which is kind of crazy. Here's the start menu, opens up real quick as well. You know, just basic things like this, no problems. We'll open Chrome, a little more intensive task here, opening Chrome. But as you can see, opens right up. It's really not, you know, the performance is not bad on this thing it's really not and like i said once it gets in the ram look at it again no problem so there's that try the task manager show you how things are going here performance you can see the cpu right there and the memory so not bad it's really not bad at all i'm just gonna Oh, let's see, just click on some random applications here in the start menu. The calendar app, taking a little bit, welcome screen. Again, I don't have internet today, having issues with that, so some of this stuff might not open like it's supposed to, but I haven't opened a lot of these applications, so we're probably going to get welcome screens on all of these. The Photos app. Oh, let's see. Mail. A lot of these, you know, they load right up. I mean, I am actually kind of really surprised at the performance of the VM on this computer. And I mean, it's probably that better processor and all that, but the MacBook Air does not perform like this. And that's a brand new, you know. 2018 MacBook Air. You guys watch the channel, you know that's my new computer that replaced this one. Microsoft Store isn't going to load because I don't have internet, but you can get a little idea. Yeah, I can get a load. But yeah, guys, I'm just, I just wanted to show you this real quick. I mean, it was kind of, you know, pretty interesting to see this, how quick everything works. Uh, I'm going to do more intensive things on here and try it out over the next few weeks or so, but right now, I mean, this is pretty neat how it runs so smooth on here. 
But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Like I said, I just want to show you this real fast, you know, how stuff does. Um, but let me know, is there anything specific you want to see uh, me do with this? Uh, just let me know in the comments below. But be sure to stay tuned to the channel. I got plenty more content coming. I'm going to try to do boot camp with this Windows 10 on this old computer as well. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all in the next video.